Hey guys, it's Kelsey. I'm back with another scrapbooking process video and we are back with how to kill a kit with style. For this layout, I really wanted to try this collection with a dark wood grain. I love the light wood grain that comes in this collection, but I really wanted to see how it looked with a darker wood grain. So I pulled in a wood grain plank from my stash. This is another one of the wood grain papers my mom gave me for my birthday, and I love it. I love a good wood grain. I will forever use them. <laughs> and I decided that I would kind of try and use the products I have been avoiding so far this month, uh, being the cheetah print. <laughs> I haven't used the cheetah print at all so far, or at least at the point I'm making this layout. So I decided that I was going to make that a main layer since I'm going for this dark wood grain and this is a photo with Billy and he's an animal. We can use animal print, it goes. <laughs> so this will be one that kind of looks different I think from the rest of the pages because I'm going to start pulling in things on this one I have been trying to ignore. So cheetah print, I'm gonna pull in some orange, I'm gonna pull in some um, yellow from my six by six grab bag that uh, Jennifer sent me and some pieces from Allie, I think. So <laughs> this is gonna be a hodgepodge, but I really like how this one turns out and it turns out so different than all the other layouts I feel from this kit just because I'm getting that kind of stuff used up. So I decided to piece together two uh, of the six by six leopard prints that's going to be my main layer. I really want to stagger these four by sixes to create some interest and then just add a couple layers kind of staggered up behind them just so there's a little bit more substantial paper behind <laughs> my photos. So this yellow polka dot print came from my six by six grab bag. I'll also pull in a black and white gingham scrap there you can see there and I just really like how simple they look staggered up behind where my photos are. So I'm gonna end up keeping those there. You can see my vellum hearts I've already pulled in. I really wanna get the leopard and the orange vellum hearts used up on this page because I feel like if I don't use them on this page, they're not going to get used. So that's my thought process. Um, gonna go ahead and glue my photos together. I know I want them staggered like that. I'm not even gonna map my photos. I kind of look like how they look going straight on these pattern papers. Uh, and because these are fall, photos. There's a lot of yellow and orange in the background in the trees. That's kind of why I decided to give myself leeway to get the yellows and the oranges on here. So you can see how I'm just trying to pull all of that in. There's an orange label from the Madison die cuts. I have my last orange vellum heart that I think looks really nice layered down there. <laughs> so this is kind of my design I'm going for. Um, I do want to pull the gingham and the yellow to the bottom part of the layout. I kind of want it to look like those are longer layers that run behind the whole photo, but I only have little scraps of them. So you'll see that I kind of, I'm going to gut this leopard print because the B side is my wood grain <laughs> to save for another layout. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and, and keep that. Yeah, I definitely like gutting when I can. Sorry, lost my train of thought. I'm going to get this cheetah print glued down now that I've gutted it and then you will see with the yellow and the gingham paper I will gut the or I will trim what's hidden behind the photos in that as well and bring it to the bottom of the page I don't know if that made sense you'll see what I mean <laughs> but I'm just going I kind of I liked how everything was laid out so I just want to get it back on the page glued down where I had them so spatially I'm trying to put it back where I had it and now that I can see how much of this yellow and gingham paper is showing, I know where I can kind of trim that up to move to another part of the page. So uh, I decided at this point that I wanted to ink everything. This has happened a lot this month, I feel like, where um, I have started the page not thinking I was going to ink and then change my mind halfway through and then have to go back and ink all of the layers. But this one in particular, I really thought would look nice with brown ink. I really don't like mixing brown and black but I feel like pages with leopard print, you kind of get that leeway to mix brown and black. So that's kind of was odd to me and I still don't know if I like it, but um, it's happening. So now that I have that top layer glued down, you can see the scraps from that I'm pulling down to the bottom. So hopefully to you, that looks like one long layer and not just two little scraps. <laughs> but I'm gonna get those glued down for a moment. I think I like the vellum hearts over here on the left just because there's more empty wood grain space over there. Um, and so then I scooched the orange label and the orange vellum heart to the right because I really like this diagonal flow all the hearts have together. 
but in the end I really like how it was originally with the orange label to the left and the vellum hearts on the right so I'll switch that back but I just wanted to see if I ended up liking this way better and I did not so uh, it's okay I'm gonna get this part glued down my layers are almost done I think I know I add a couple more bits but these are the bulk of my design here this page came together super fast too <laughs> that's another plus to working with just six by sixes it's like everything's already a scrap so you just you kind of use it how it is and that really helps my process speed up <laughs> Here I am trying to switch it up. I'm thinking maybe I want one of the leopard hearts at the bottom and the other orange heart up with the other leopard print one. And I immediately decide, no, I don't like that. There's enough leopard print around the photo where I think both the vellum hearts look better away from that other pattern. <laughs> and that's another reason I wanted to put the vellum hearts back over to the right. I have this huge chunk of this leopard print to the left of my photos. Um, so I really felt like the page was unbalanced with that leopard print heart also on the left side of the page So I like it better when those hearts are scooched back to the right I think it, it balances that leopard print a lot better in this top-down view It looks like it's really hard to see those vellum hearts But hopefully in the close-ups you can see those vellum hearts you can actually see really easily I think it's just the way the light is reflecting off of the vellum it looks really dull and like it blends in <laughs> But I am surprised those hearts actually do stand out quite nicely in person uh, I do want kind of one more layer. I was looking through my scraps that I have of my Felicity Jane 6x6 papers, and I, I really like this black and white heart. So I'm trying to find somewhere I can include that layer too. Just because we have this leopard print, we have the black and white gingham. I think adding black and white hearts would look really cute. I kind of wanted a longer piece of this heart paper to be a vertical strip across, or sorry, horizontal strip across the bottom of the page but I didn't have enough because it's oriented in this vertical skinny strip, but I did have enough to kind of look like, make it look like there is a, a horizontal layer <laughs> tucked into the left. So I did decide to include that there at least, but I'm gonna go ahead and glue all of this down. And then I think I will move my vellum hearts around again. <laughs> and then I get to just play with embellishment after that. Yeah, I just love, I like how those hearts look so much better to the right. I think at one point I moved these hearts around so they created a visual triangle and they were in three separate spots versus just two spots, but they didn't space out nicely. I just couldn't find a way for them to look natural. So I ended up putting the two leopard hearts back together in the upper right hand corner and I just, I like how that looks a lot better. <laughs> I tried several different things, but I should have just gone with what I did in the first place because it ended up being what I liked the most. But yeah, I, they look they look good in the upper right hand corner and they just balance that leopard print from the left side of the page so much better there. So I'm going to keep them. I'm going to keep them there. And there you can see the vellum more easily. You, it really does stand out from the background even more so in person than that. But at least that way you can see that it doesn't blend in completely <laughs> like it looked like when it was on the left. But I'm going to go ahead and get my cluster down since I move those hearts back over to the right. My orange vellum heart and my orange label move back to the left which I also like better because I needed something over there with that big leopard print area so now that that's all where it's going to go I'm going to glue them down again I'm trying to be strategic about where I put my glue just because you can see the glue through the vellum so it takes me a minute to kind of finagle where I want that but I think that looks nice <laughs> I really want to use more of this black and white heart paper, but I just thought without it being the same proportion as what I already used on the left, it would look awkward. And I really didn't feel like the, the page needed it. Um, I feel like because I have the black and white gingham on the right side of the page and the black and white heart on the left, the black and white patterns are balanced and I didn't really need more of the black and white heart, if that makes sense. So I'm going into finishing touches now. And so I decided to pull in some of my enamel dots and I decided to go with yellow. I really only have the yellow in the photo and then that one yellow paper. So because I pulled in more of these oranges, I really wanted yellow to go with them just so all those colors are balanced and spread across the page and not one color looks out of place. So I'm just trying to scatter a couple yellow dots around in each of the clusters. And I had one yellow <laughs> enamel heart left. So I paired that with the orange vellum heart at the bottom just because now every heart has a little pairing. And I think that's really cute because it's like me and Billy. Billy's such a ham. <laughs> that's like the biggest thing everyone said when I shared these photos, like that picture of Billy, he is just such a ham. 
This photo shoot was so much fun. <laughs> Um, once I get these enamel dots down, I think I'm almost done, um, but I decide I want a title or journaling, and I'd already done journaling for this photo shoot on a different page, so I figured I should at least do a title. I didn't want there to be no text on this page. I think it's completely fine to do that, um, but for me, I just felt like I wanted something. I wanted this page to say something somewhere, <laughs> so I decided to go ahead and ink the outside of this layout since I hadn't done that yet and all the inner layers were inked um, but this is where I decided to go in with my <laughs> title so I'm back with these puffy Jenny alphabets they're so cute and I decided to literally just call this page what a ham because that's what everyone said when they saw his face in these photos <laughs> he had fun making these photos too he is a little model and he knows it he still is like you you pull out a camera and this dog will pose for you <laughs> I'm just trying to line them all up here. I did notice on a previous layout with these alphas, I don't know if it's because my window's open and my house have been, has been more humid, um, but they were starting to peel up a little bit. So I am taking preventative measures and just adding glue to the back of these alphas. So hopefully that doesn't happen on this layout. So I lined them all up on my ruler, <laughs> flipped them over, added some extra glue, and now I'm going to try to just transfer them to the page as easily as possible. I still had to scooch a couple of them, but Hopefully those won't peel up now. <laughs> so I had to go back and glue them on from a previous layout that kind of wanted to peel up. But I have my title on there. It added some more black. Again, I'm kind of weird with the black and brown, but I'm embracing it. And I thought, okay, I added some black up there. It's looking kind of lonely, like it's too black. So instead of trying to find a different alpha, I decided to add even more black somewhere else. That way it would just look like it made sense. So I'm taking a scrap piece of black cutting a border punch <laughs> into it and that's going to be another horizontal layer underneath these photos i really like that it kind of adds a grounding element and a place for these photos to sit but it adds more of that black so that it's more balanced and the title doesn't look out of place by there being a black title on this very more kind of brown themed <laughs> page <laughs> So I'm going to glue that down and then I think that's my final touch. I think close-ups will be here in a minute, but I love how this one turned out. It's so different than the other pages I've made this month because I did go with the dark wood grain and some of these other colors, but I really like how it came out. So <laughs> here are the close-ups here in a minute. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.